Girls, did we figure out what happened? Um, don't you have to add 16 times 48? Because? Because it's on um, the total, like... She's so smart. Yeah. Y'all. You won. I thought you had to subtract because you're trying to find the distance between two points. And distance between two points? Are you look? Do you have two points? Okay, well, what about the distance between the top of the cliff and the end of second, second, second? Yeah, you would add those. You know what? I'll just What are we doing right now? I put in a um, stat edit to see if it came up with doing exponential regulation and linear reg, but that doesn't do anything. So exponential regula ugh, regression. Yes. And linear regression didn't work. Yeah. What are we talking about currently? What unit are we in? Not that. So what could you possibly use? Quadratic. Is there one? Yes, there is. Okay. It's right here, which gives me a good feeling. So maybe talk to your group members about that. Check and make sure it works. Make sure that number two is an equation. And I love oh. what you have. How did you come up with that? Oh, I did it because um the first the first second is sixteen and then t times t. I took it um times t is sixteen times two. Wait. Sixteen times two was thirty-two. Um, but I forgot. Um, you have to first um do the ex the I forgot what it's called the thing. I know what she means. Anybody know what she means? That little number. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to do exponents because of the order. Excellent. So, yeah. Good. 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 A equals zero is sixteen x squared. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sixteen x squared. B equals zero, so b times x is zero, and then c equals zero, so it's actually. X is um no x is p. X is yeah. The time an object is smaller. It's the time an object is smaller. Yeah. So b. So. This is my table. I had this part because I know that the start is zero, and then from zero to the first mark is 16. From the first mark, I mean, from, from this mark to the next mark is 48, and then from this mark to that mark is 80. So, to get the first one, it will be 0 plus 16, which will equal 16. The second one would be 16 plus 48 because it's here, from here to there. So that will equal 64. And then the next one I did was from here to there, which would be 80. So 64 plus 80 equals 144. Any questions? Oh, um, when you said from, like, for the second one, from right there, the mark you made? From this one? No. Sure. Yeah, you said it was here to down there. I think it was from the top to down there. To the if you can go up and point. It was from, you said from here to here is 64, but actually no, from here yeah, to that's here is what about for the last one to them? How are you not going to be 44? Where's that? From there to there. Much better. Good point, Enoch. Thank you. Alexis. I like how you showed your cliff and marking. Thank you. What property did Alexis say she used right here? Nurema. Okay, that was the one that was not in your books, but I asked you to look it up last night. What allows you to take the square root of both sides of an equation? Square root property. Some people said square root property of equality. Um, exit slip on your paper, really quickly before we actually do this. Did we meet our objective? Did we solve real world problems involving quadratic equations? Yes. Absolutely. All right. Um, when you're done this, I will take it.
Um, we're going to raise our hands. Who is thinking that Zach was correct? Darren, what did you write? No. <laughs> Who thought Darren was right? OK, why such a split? Sukhmandar. Um, there could be a split. Um, because you could have approximated, and you would still have factored 2.8. I mean, 2 and 8 tenths, and the square root of 2 tenths. That's exactly right. They are both right. Today, we were approximating, weren't we? There are certain instances where it calls for rounding. Does dropping something call for rounding? Which answer would you prefer to hear? If I said, hey, how long did it take you guys? Would you rather hear 2 and 8 tenths of a second, or would you rather hear 2 radical 2? Two? Two two. He being serious. <laughs> OK, and now you guys all realize that this actually sounds silly. Darren's answer is better in context with the problem. Is that correct? Yes. Absolutely. So you have to make sure when you're answering a question like this, if it says give the exact answer, you want this one. If it says give an approximate answer, you want this one. Capiche? OK, wonderful job. Um, no business bang, but you can um, all stand up. Simon said stand up. Simon says no talking. Simon says push in your chair. All right, Simon says right angle. Simon says straight angle. Simon says acute angle. Obtuse angle. I didn't say Simon. Sit down if you're out. <laughs> All right, Simon says reflex angle. Right angle. Simon didn't say. Sit down. Simon says obtuse angle. Simon says acute angle. Okay. Yes, you may. Yes, you may. <laughs>